Thank you for joining us this afternoon and uh, this will be part two of my teaching on uh, being righteous. What does it mean to be righteous? And um, uh, I left off in our last session, we were reading from 2 Corinthians chapter 5. Uh, I read verse 17 that says, Therefore, if any, be, any man be in Mashiach, he's a new creature. Old things are passed away and behold, all things have become new. Now, I want to just mention in, in that respect to, to when the, the scripture talks about that uh, the, the new man, uh, talking about that if any man be in Mashiach, he is a new creature. We know that uh, it's talking about that the inner man, the man that you cannot see. You only see my outward flesh. But there is a man on the inside, which is the real you. And man basically is comprised of spirit, soul, and body. Uh, we're, we're a three-part being. We, 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 you, you're a spirit, you have a soul, and you live in a body. Now, in the plan of redemption, it was imperative that man uh, receive the Ruach, the spirit of Yahuwah, because in Adam's, Adam's fall, he became related to, to Shatan or Satan in the respect that all life went out of, uh, out of Adam. Do you remember Yahuwah said that in the day you eat of the tree of the knowledge of good and evil, you shall surely die, and he did. He died spiritually. But then he physical manifestation of spiritual death was a physical death, which came about 900 years later. But Yahuwah told him, the day you eat, you shall die, and he did. He died spiritually. He no longer you know, had the ruach, had the life of Yahuwah in him. So in the plan of redemption, it was imperative that as that men have life again. That's what eternal life is all about. It's not just living a long time. Eternal life is, <laughs> you ask me what eternal life is, they'll say, well, it's living forever. Well, everybody's going to live forever. The problem is if, where you're where you going to spend your forever at. And uh, you have to have the Ruach, you have to have the life in you in order to pass from death unto life. And um, for those that have received the Mashiach, you have the life of Yahuwah in you. You have his Ruach, you have his spirit. And you also have his righteousness. That's what makes you righteous, is that you you have on the inside his Ruach, his spirit. And Yahuwah sees us because he is spirit. He sees us that way. And that's why Paul even said to be absent from the body is to be present with Yahuwah. Now, the reason I'm mentioning that is when are you, if you ask some people, are they righteous? And most even believers will say, well, I, no, not really. I'm, I'm trying to be righteous. I'm trying to, to, to keep the Torah. I'm trying to keep all the commandments. I'm trying to do my best. But no, nah, I'm not righteous. No, I make too many mistakes, you'll hear people say. Well, now, again, if they're, if they're not born from above, if they have not received the Mashiach, the Messiah, and they have, have not received his Ruach, his spirit, then they are, they are, they are unrighteous. And they need to be made righteous. But see, they have to be made righteous before they die. See, you dying doesn't make you righteous. <laughs> Some people say, well, when I die, I'll be righteous. No. <laughs> you know, that's why Paul said to be absent from the body is to be present with Yahuwah. Why? Because there would be no transition. There would just be because he's righteous in the realm of the spirit. Now, I realize that your flesh is weak and you have weaknesses where, you know, you if you allow your flesh to dominate your life, we all can have, you know, can fall into sin. We can do things we shouldn't do and uh, because of the weakness of, of our flesh that we can you know miss it and but see you have to understand that when you do miss it and, and make mistakes you know it doesn't change who who you really are on the inside you're still the righteousness of Yahuwah because you still possess his Ruach his spirit if the spirit of the Ruach left you every time you made a mistake or sinned or you know did something wrong well he <laughs> he'd be coming and going and uh, that's not the case. Now, you know, I, I'm sharing with this with you to help you to, to have confidence knowing that you are the righteous ones that the scriptures talks about. That, that when, when it says in the book of James that the effectual fervent prayer of a righteous man avails much. See, if you knew you were righteous before Yahuwah and that he hears the prayers of the righteous, that's what it says in the book of Psalms, that Yahuwah hears the prayers of the righteous that he hears your prayer when you pray, then you're going to have more confidence in believing that you receive when you pray because you know that Yahuwah, the righteousness that you're standing in is not your own, but in his. And you'll have confidence because you know that you measure up to him because you've received his righteousness and you're not standing in your own righteousness. 
Well, I hope this has helped you, and we'll share some more in our next session. And again, please uh, share this with others. And I thank you for joining me. I love you. Yahuwah loves you. And look forward to our time uh, in our next session. Shalom.